You have probably heard the story that men are more risk-taking than females because of their biological responsibilities. Men need to go out and hunt to provide for their families. Females need to stay home and tend to the offspring. Men need to be more disposed to overtaking the risk. Back in the day, it wasn't considered ladylike for women to jump out of plane, or even, you know, wear pants. Indeed, extreme sports are often portrayed as being very masculine activities that are largely male-dominated. Women are naturally seen as a sensitive gender. Women are free to be many things but masculine is not one of them. Hard job is for men. There is plenty of controversy description of women in extreme sport, in which their hard work, talent, and determination is too often minimized, with the focus being rather on how they look than how they perform. People who are looking for adrenaline in any area of life are driven by the need to constantly experience new, complex, and varied sensations. Normally, our brain looks for escape daily routines and achieve feeling of well-being and general relaxation. But many times, due to circumstances, we do not conclude that practicing sport is exactly what our body needs. Much less do we stop to think about practicing an extreme sport. Extreme sport are no longer think for adrenaline freaks or athletes addicted, addicted to putting their life on risk. They become very popular in society getting every day more and more lovers. And the women, women proved so many times that extreme sport is not just a male sport. It's a sport for all extreme sport lovers. But extreme industry is still overwhelmed by males. From mountain biking, cliff climbing, rock climbing, surfing, kite surfing, parachuting, Freestyle skiing and more are also sports for women, and the women are super, super successful. Not only are there are much larger number of women participating, but they are getting legitimately good at the sport. Day of saying she is good for a girl are gone, as these women have pushed the boundaries. Still, the men have better condition. This is changing very slowly, but we see some progress. One nice example is Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, where both gender are treated equally. They got the same prize money, same sponsor's attention, same number of competition. And today, I would like to went you briefly through two great stories about two girls, women, who pushed their boundaries since the earlier age. They have proved that extreme sport is not just a sport where women belong, but they also proved that women in this sport could be inspiration to the main kind. First story is about a 15-year-old girl from Bosnia who started practicing motorsport when she was only four. When we think about fast and extreme driving, many pictures come naturally in our mind. That girl knows that motorsport is dangerous, and her parents too, but that's what she loves. And she has their full support. 
She won five Croatian championship in male competition and in supercross four times. For the first time in history of motocross, she won gold helmet in 50 cubit capacity class. Being a male in a male sport isn't easy, but she proudly stands head to head with the guys. She was the one who changed the rules. Nobody expected that five-year-old girls can compete, especially not to have such great results. At that time, kids under six were not allowed to take part in competition. But that was changed because of her. And she's really proud of this achievement. Now she competes in European and World Championships in female category. Another story is about young surfer. At the age of 13, she was surfing near her home in Hawaii when she was attacked by a tiger shark. She lost her whole left arm, but she decided to go back on a surfboard only a month after her release in, from hospital. Since then, she has risen to top of international athletes, won countless competition and championships. A book was written about her terrifying injury, her recovery, and unique determination. That book became a bestseller, and later on, the film was made. She is now 28, a mother that continues to serve and inspire, inspire all women around the world. She and three more women are among the 15 the most influential athletes in extreme sport in the world, giving inspiration also to males. All of us have things that we support or do not support. But if person close to us strongly believes in something, be aware that they can quit pursuing their dreams only because lack of support. If someone close to you want to become extraordinary in something, unpredictability must be part on the way to success. Nobody of us knows how far we can go, how many goals we can achieve, but for sure we all know that the way to success will not be easy. Same as five-year-old girl changed the rule about age limit, same as one of the young surfers showed what means to be unstoppable. We are sure that all other brave women in the world deserve to get what they want to get, what they are passionate about, to achieve great results. And definitely they deserve to be visible, valued, and be equal with men, to get everything what men get. Being a woman in so-called men industry isn't easy, but it's possible. Nothing can or should hold women back, prevent women to do what they are passionate about. Those athletes, no matter if they are male or female, are thrill seekers. Common for both gender is their dedication to their sport. They all practice, ensure proper safety measures, and pursue their goals. Gender doesn't to be a barrier for any sport, no matter how hard the sport is. Hardness comes from mind, not from the body. So, while women are becoming increasingly accepted in the male-dominated world of extreme sport, there is much progress to be made. This change required not only willingness and open-mindedness by audience, but it, it also required change in industry. You don't have to 
jump into the depth of the Grand Canyon. But we encourage you to try something extreme. That you can get excited, that you can describe this feeling afterwards. I have spent my entire professional life in a company which do and support extreme sports. Do you know that for me, standing on this stage today is also extreme? That kind of fear doesn't prevent me to be here today, to stand here today, to do from time to time some extreme sport activities, even if I'm afraid of it. That fear comes from unknown, but whatever we do for the first time in our lives, we feel unsure, a little bit afraid. As the time goes by, we become more confident, less afraid in that what we do. When you do it long enough, it starts to be part of you. So, ladies, let's continue to do what we love. Let's make a progress and smash the goals. We are present in many industries. We have a voice and we can speak up if we are not happy with the way things are. Now, I would like to ask you to give, to give applause to yourself and to all other brave ladies in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you.